Hello, youths. Okay, this is the first installment of Youth TV. I'm going to explain a little bit about what's happening. Um, so the best analogy that I can come up with is like a butterfly, right? So pre-2020, we were all caterpillars. And then uh, and then 2020 came along, we cocooned. And I don't know if you know this, but when a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, actually when it's in the cocoon, it goes to mush. And all, every single organ, every single particle, every single cell changes and transforms into a butterfly. And then, so really 2021, actually December 21st, 2020, we kind of emerged as a butterfly. So there's something very profound going on with that. And just for you to check it out for yourself, like, are you feeling different? And some of the three areas maybe to look at is first of all, your thinking. So are you noticing that your thinking is uh, more expanded? Like you have a, like if you think about a butterfly, right? It can fly. So as a caterpillar, you're stuck on your leaf. You have one frame of mind and you've got like a few obsessions, like a caterpillar's obsession is eating basically and just like eating all the leaves around it. And, but then as a butterfly, as you raise yourself up, you raise up, then you can see more perspective. So you might notice that your thinking is a little bit less sticky than it used to be. Like when people say things to you or when you start to do the overthinking thing, it might be less kind of engaging. Like you can disengage better and you can be like, well, do I really need to think like that? Or do, do what other people's opinions of me really matter? So that's the first thing to notice. You might have a more broad view and you might be less stuck in your thinking paradigms. So that's a really good thing, right? The second thing is realizing that maybe actually you want to do stuff more stuff expanded viewpoints be more maybe you're feeling you're more motivated or you're more um kind of thinking well what else could i achieve and just trying to to have that broader view and again same same analogy right when you're a caterpillar and you're stuck on a leaf then you just you're really just looking at yourself your group of friends and just that kind of lifestyle that's all you can see Whereas as a butterfly, you're much more engaged with a bigger world, with a wider viewpoint, and you have choice. So you can choose to sit on the leaf, yeah, and you can choose to soar, you can choose to fly. So this is maybe a, a different kind of feeling of motivation, a different kind of feeling of, actually, I do want to do stuff. I do have stuff to say. I have stuff to achieve. I have stuff to create. Um, and that's another really, really powerful aspect of where we're moving into. So again, just check it out for yourself. And the third thing is this feeling of like lightness, right? Like a butterfly is a totally different organism from a big round caterpillar. It can fly. It can not fly. It can sit. It can eat. It can go from flower to flower. It can go from place to place. So in general, the body system is much lighter and it's much freer. So some of you might be noticing that you're, you're less attached to your body. You feel more out of body experiences. You might be noticing all kinds of weird alter states, your dream state, all this kind of stuff, because you actually can jump these paradigms more easily. So don't be afraid of that. Explore it like a butterfly, right? It's like explore the different flowers, explore the different states that are coming up for you and, and see where it takes you. So those are the three things to look out for uh, and just, just make the choice. Like, yeah, as a, as a butterfly, you can still pretend you're a caterpillar for a little while, might, might feel weird and you might wanna do that, but the, the sooner you can let go of all these, these old kind of paradigms and old thoughts and things like that, then the faster you can soar because that's where we're going.